cameras of race video once again at Waterston Road and the summer night starting to draw in but tonight we've got a super match because it's near rivals the Wimbledon Montine Dons in National League action against the Hackney HL1 Kestrels. The Kestrels slightly on the down at the moment with injury problems to a number of their riders but they're looking forward to tonight and hoping that they can pull two National League points out of the bag. With me now, Neville Tatum from the Montine Dons. Neville, you went well here in the Southern Riders Championship, and you must be looking forward to tonight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. As I said on the uh, on the tape, then I was uh, quite surprised when we form. Um, so I'm um, hopefully looking forward to some good things tonight. Um, uh, one of the people that sponsor me is here this evening, and uh, I want to put on a good show. And uh, a good National League match down at Wimbledon on Wednesday when you beat the Hammers quite. Si uh, convincingly and the Hammers beat Hackney last night so you must fancy your chances here tonight well I don't know about that I think that uh, you know I mean I was quite surprised the way we won on Wednesday I think they had a few problems of their own um, I think that uh, you know we've got to look as you do it before any any meeting you've got to look to, uh, to neb the two points um, I think that it really depends on how people can adjust to the track um, I know Morton's good Nathan can be good I can be good and Andy is just Andy, you know, so um, I think they've got a bit of a problem with Andy Galvin, obviously, out, but, uh, you know, there's always that man Schofield flying around. Yeah, well, Scoey, of course, did uh, a head over heels at the start of last week's meeting, and undoubtedly is back not 100%, so maybe he's not on top form, and Gary Tag also slightly the worse for wear at the moment. Well, I see Scoey got 17 last night, so if that's not top form, uh, I hate to think what is. Um, uh, yeah, we just have to see how things go. Things get, how, see how things go. I'll eventually get it right, um, and uh, hopefully we can come out with the two points at the end of the night. Well, we look forward to a very close meeting tonight, and good luck. Thank you very much. With me now, the standing captain of the HL1 Kestrels, Paul Whitaker. Paul, uh, the Kestrels looking a bit like the Walking Wounded at the moment. Yeah, we've um, hit a real bad patch injury-wise, and. Um Every match we do now is a right struggle, you know. We could have, like last week here against Arena, we would normally have pretty much classed that one up as a win, you know. But like with the injuries and all that, and like with Scoey and all that going out last week, that buggered that one up. And now we got, like, I mean, Scoey's not 100%. Tim's sort of not 100%, you know. And it's, I mean, they're a very strong team anyway. So I think we're going to be up against it a lot again tonight. Yeah, and obviously Andy Galvin out for the rest of the season. That's a big blow, and that means that you and a number of the other riders will probably be having uh, six, maybe seven rides, and that makes it very hard work, I would imagine. Yeah, it, I mean, you're so used to five that, I mean, people just see, like, oh, it's only another two rides, you know, but it's, like, it's mentally tiring more than... And, you know, that ties you out more than anything else. It's hard to string seven rides together. You know, five's hard enough, let alone seven. Yeah, and uh, Wimbledon going quite well at the moment. They had one or two problems earlier in the season. Uh, you've hit the problems at the moment, so how do you think tonight's going to go? Oh, I think you've got to favour Wimbledon, really, haven't you? I mean, they are all on form, and they're, they're such a solid side compared to us at the moment. We're so, so, we've like, got so many weak spots. Uh, i got to admit, if I was a betting man, I'd put it on Wimbledon tonight, but we'll try and stop them. So... It's a case of uh, trying to stop them, but uh, just keeping the old fingers crossed. Well, good luck. We look forward to a close match, whoever wins. Cheers. Well, having been given the number one race jacket this year, Nathan... The introduction's been made on the track now, and Wimbledon first, Nathan Simpson riding at number one for the Montine Dons. We've already spoken to him once, riding at number two, Neville Tatum. The captain of... The Montine Dons riding at number three, Ray Morton. Riding at number four, the top scorer in the National League points for the Dons and obviously representing them tomorrow at Coventry in the National League Riders' Championship, riding number four, Andy Graham. We move down to number five, former Arena Essex rider, now riding for the Montine Dons, number five, Nigel Lever. No rider out on the track at the moment to ride at number six. Pete Chapman was due to be riding and he's damaged his neck and therefore he's not racing. Jim Dormer 
due to take his place, but he's got problems in the pits at the moment, riding number six, Jim Dormer. And then we move down to the number seven from Australia, number seven, Justin Pryor. The Wimbledon, Montine Dons. And now we move to the walking wounded, the HL1 Kestrels. And riding at number one, we've spoken to him already tonight, the captain for the evening, number one, Paul Whitaker. And Paul is about to receive a tyre from the back straight gang once he remembers about it. Another rider to receive a tyre from the back straight gang is Michael Warren. Riding at number three, damage to his back, still obviously a bit sore, but he's going to ride tonight. He was racing last night at Arena Essex and he'll be in the National League Riders' Championship tomorrow. Number three, Steve Schofield. Number four will be the rider replacement regulation in place of Andy Galvin. And we uh, hope that he'll be out of hospital sometime next week or the week after. So Andy Galvin still in Harlow Hospital. Coming up to the number five rider, Gary Tagg, first time we've seen him here at Hackney since his injury. Riding at number six. Tim Corneliuson riding at number six. And riding at number seven, Dave Hamnett. Number eight is Sean Venables. Hackney Kestrels versus Wimbledon Montine Dons National League action brought to you by the cameras of Race Video. The rider is coming out to the line for heat number one, Paul Whittaker and Nathan Simpson, the two riders who we spoke to earlier on the centre of the grid. Paul Whittaker in red on grid two. He's partnered by Michael Warren on grid four in blue. On Grid number three, Neville Tatum in yellow, and Nathan Simpson on the inside in white. The first speedway action of the evening here at Waterton Road. And it's Nathan Simpson who takes up lead position. Paul Whittaker in second position. Neville Tatum in third, and Michael Warren at the back at the moment. They go down the back straight. Nathan Simpson holding on to that lead position. Second place, Paul Whitaker. As they come round the pit turn this time, they'll have one lap to go as they come past us. A slight lift of the front wheel from Nathan Simpson as he found slightly more grip than he expected. Paul Whittaker in second position still, with Neville Tatum holding third, and it looks like a 4-2 to the visitors. Nathan Simpson takes the race win, two points to Paul Whittaker, one to Neville Tatum, a 4-2 in favour of the Montine Dons to start the action here tonight. Riders coming up to the line for heat number two. Tim Corneliuson in red and Dave Hamnett in blue for the HL1 Kestrels. Jim Dormer in white and Justin Pryor in yellow and black for the Montine Dons. And as they go onto the back straight, it's the Kestrels who leap out of the nest first. Tim Corneliuson and Dave Hamnett followed by Justin Pryor with Jim Dormer well back and his engine not sounding at all healthy. 
Tim Cornelius and in the lead. Second place held by Dave Hamnut. Justin Pryor well down at the moment and Jim Dormer even further away. One lap to go. Tim Cornelius and Dave Hamnut going down the back straight for the final time. Into the pit turn, the chequered flag being made ready. And a 5-1 to the Kestrels. Cornelius then comes over the line first. Dave Hamnut second. And Justin Pryor in third place. The riders come to the line for heat number three. Gary Tag in red and Paul Whitaker, the rider replacement ride in blue. For the Dons, Nigel Lever in white and Andy Graham in yellow and black. Heat number three. And it's Andy Graham who goes into lead position with Gary Tagg in second and Paul Whittaker third. The two Kestrels almost colliding on the home straight there, but they managed to avoid each other. Andy Graham still in lead position. Paul Whittaker gets past Gary Tagg. And now Paul Whittaker setting off after the flying Andy Graham. He's only got one lap in which to do anything about it. Gary Tagg having one or two problems and he's now under pressure from Nigel Lever. Lever unable to make the necessary ground up though and it's going to be three points for Andy Graham. Two to Paul Whittaker and one to Gary Tagg. A three all that time. The two number threes make their first appearance of the evening. For Hackney, the HL1 Kestrel, Steve Schofield in red, partnered by Tim Cornelius and in blue. And for the Montine Dons, Ray Morton in white and Justin Pryor in yellow and black. Justin Pryor being moved over on the start line. The riders been asked to move up. go up and a fair amount of bunching on that first bend Tim Cornelius and sandwiched between the two Wimbledon Dons but he barges his way through into second position and that was a piece of determined riding by Tim Cornelius and Steve Schofield the leader third place held by Ray Morton So the two Kestrels who last week did a head over heels on the start line and did a fair amount of damage to both of their backs in a 5-1 race advantage at the moment. Steve Schofield and Tim Corneliuson ahead of Ray Morton and Justin Pryor. And it will be interesting to see just how quickly Stevie Schofield is going tonight following his injury. Three points to Steve, two to Tim Corneliuson, one point to Ray Morton and a 5-1 to the HL1 Kestrels. The riders come to the line for heat number five and Steve Schofield having two on the...